Hello Taurus. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for November 2020. This is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It may resonate in other areas of your life, but I'm going to read it as love. I kept seeing the um, Justice and the Judgment card. So I was wondering if someone was going to court or possibly trying to get a divorce. I don't know. Show me Taurus, please. One more card for my Taurus friends. Usually when I get Justice and Judgment in the same reading, I'll take that one. All right. Bottom of the deck we have Interlude, Pause, Timing, Factor. All right, so usually when I get that, that means that someone's probably not in speaking mood right now. A relationship is on break, and we're waiting for the outcome. Happiness, wholeness, overjoyed, smiling, nice. Settlement, agreement, promise, okay. Realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light and recalling reminiscing memories returning okay so something somebody is realizing that maybe they want to fix something from the past i'm going to be using the light seers tarot today if anybody is interested in that we're just going to keep those over there for now matter of fact let me move them up just a little bit so I don't knock them all over the place. Okay. Angels, what messages do you have for Taurus, please? Wow. Okay. Your cards are coming right out. Show me Taurus for November 2020 in love. Emperor, got a husband or a father here. Remember that love readings do not always have to be about an actual romantic relationship. It's just about someone you love. It could be your father. It could be your sister. It could be your best friend. Okay. Show me Taurus, please. There's that judgment card. Show me Taurus. So... The death card is reversed and the judgment card is upright. I feel like there is some type of reconciliation, at least the potential for one anyway. Show me Taurus, please. Final outcome message for Taurus. What do they need to know in love? Angels, please. I'm getting that one. All right. Pause, break. Okay, this doesn't appear to be any action here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, and the Magician. Hmm. All right. Let's do like that, like that, so I can see them. Hmm. It looks like you're definitely in separation from someone. Is this the two? Two of wands. Ten of cups. In separation from someone you love. Because of something toxic. Hmm. So I definitely see that someone that you're in separation from has had some type of a wake up call and they've made a decision that they want to compromise with you because you make them happy. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, sign of Virgo is you know, not putting effort into a situation. And, and I said that this was love, but I'm definitely getting that someone uh, 
possibly got fired from a job. If you did, this happened a long time ago, or you quit a job due to some type of betrayal. Because my, the emperor, when the emperor comes up and this devil is in reverse, see in this deck, if you look at, let me put that in the camera, down here in the corner, you can see that the devil is controlling someone like a puppet. And when it's reversed, you know, they're not controlling you anymore. So, and the emperor is a boss. Someone's not showing feelings here. I feel like you're not speaking to this person. I also feel like this person is cold. But deep down inside, this is really bothering them. This two of wands in their role or attitude sign of Aries is in reverse. This person has had the wake-up call. They have had the realization that they want to compromise because you make them happy. This relationship is definitely on pause because the Four of Swords is my pause. And this is also a pause card. Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. So something ended suddenly here and somebody doesn't have closure. Now with the magician, they want to manifest with you. Like that's their decision, but... They're not taking action. You have someone here who is not confident in their decision to approach you. They're afraid that their plan will fail. Because I also see this Ace of Wands, you know, is in reverse in your challenge position. So this new beginning is here. The magician is here. But it's just a matter of waiting. I feel like, I feel like you want because this is my like frustration or impatience card like you want this person to come to you because they hurt you now ten of cups in reverse in your role or attitude this could be a husband this could be a father this could even be a child some someone that um is in your family but I like that it, I feel like you took your power away from this person. Somebody feels guilty here. Somebody feels guilty for some type of ending that happened. Like, I'm surprised that the Nine of Swords isn't here because I feel like this person is losing sleep over something that they did. They are literally, like, embarrassed and they are afraid to approach you. But they've realized that they love you and that they want this. Very interesting reading. I don't even know like when this would happen. You have uh, maybe Capricorn season. You got Capricorn and you got Scorpio here. Aries, Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Um, I don't know, maybe in January because of the Ace of Wands being a one and the Magician being a one. Maybe this person will finally make a move. Show me. I kind of feel like if you know what I'm talking about, Taurus, I feel like if you made the first move to rekindle this relationship because the Four of Swords is about healing. Somebody worth worth waiting for. We're waiting. We're not. So it's like you're going to get. I kept seeing justice and judgment. They kept coming out of the deck as I was shuffling. So you're going to get justice. You're going to get what you want. But you got to wait. And you're frustrated. And you're like tired of waiting. Show me. Taurus, please show me Taurus for, I was going to say January, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I feel like you've already released this person. You're in separation and you're not speaking to someone. Hmm. You said you can't control me anymore. I'm not going to allow you pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there's something here that you need to let go of. You deserve love. You are lovable. You're not following your intuition about releasing something. 
So you may be in separation from a person and you're in another relationship right now. That's a very strange combination to me. Worth waiting for tells me that it's going to happen. But release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Hmm. Whatever you're in now isn't working out. It's almost like you wish that this person would come to your rescue or something. Page of Swords. Communication research. Let's pull a couple more cards. Angels, show me Taurus, please. See if we could get a little more information. Healing from heartbreak, free from toxic relationship or addiction. I mean, that's very clear. This one too. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Show me one more for Taurus, please. So is that like a rebound thing? Like you're healing your heart by engaging in something new? Show me Taurus. They just said social media. I don't have any social media cards here. Hmm. Show me, tar oh, this could be the world on the two of wands. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Bottom of the deck, have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. This person wants this, or you do. I feel like you might be mirroring each other, almost like, nope. I took back my power. I'm not coming to you. You owe me an apology. And they're sitting over there feeling guilty and trying to figure out how they're going to apologize to you. I'm going to take one astrology message for you. Only because I kind of feel like Virgo Moon. I kind of feel like I'm not really getting the whole story here. I don't know what this is. Because your current situation is something isn't working out. Um, or you have to stop putting effort into something in order to return to the past. Virgo Moon. Intelligent, helpful, reliable, determined. Sincere, analytical, meticulous, and honest. Qualities of Virgo Moon are intelligence, responsibility, and communication. You execute everything with great care. You are a deep thinker who enjoys good discussions and fact-finding, even if you have to dig all night long. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you have a natural connection with the earth and animals. Your energy is logical and industrious. You are knowledgeable and informed. You learn lessons from everything you experience, and then you make improvements in your life. That's what a Virgo does. I guess everybody does that, really. Your thoughts are comprehensive. Your meticulous range of knowledge provides valuable archives of information for the benefit of others. Hmm. So, being analytical and reliable and determined and honest... This person did something that either you can't get over or they can't get over. And I feel like they're just trying to figure out. Even the magician is, you know, a Virgo, Gemini, it's mercurial. It's, it's putting a puzzle together. Like, how am I going to make this work? How am I going to do this? What am I going to say? I feel like this person is going over and over in their head, like how they're going to approach you, or maybe even trying to uh, unexpectedly run into you somewhere. If there's a place that you go or a place that you used to go together, maybe they're going to try and maybe a bar with all these drinks over here or a restaurant. I don't know. Um, I'm going to leave that there, Taurus. It looks like this is happening. I just can't tell you when. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. And I will see you soon.